Thanks for joining today's video, where here we have a math problem that we're going to work through together, and we're also going to go over a common mistake that some may make when solving this problem. The problem is 16 divided by 2 times 5. Now a lot of people when working through this problem will make the mistake of starting out with multiplication. So they'll begin by multiplying 2 times 5, which we know is going to give us 10, and then we'll bring down the rest of the problem. So we have 16 being divided by 10, and when we divide 16 by 10, we get 1 and 6 tenths. So our answer here should be A, 1 and 6 tenths. But if we were to solve this problem in this way, then we would get the incorrect answer because we didn't follow the order of operations here. So let's go ahead and work through this problem together, except this time we're going to make sure that we're following the order of operations. The original problem was 16 divided by 2 times 5. Now since we have multiple operations within this problem, we need to make sure that we're following the order of operations. And over on the left hand side, we can see the acronym PEMDAS, which stands for the order of priorities when solving problems just like this. The P in PEMDAS stands for parentheses, and the E stands for exponents, and since we don't have either one of those, we're going to move on to our next priority of multiplication or division. Now with this priority, multiplication and division are the same priority, so whenever you're solving a problem that has both division and multiplication, you're going to solve it from left to right because multiplication and division are the same priority. So that means that first we're going to be dividing 16 by 2, which we know is going to give us 8, and then we're going to bring down our times 5. And now we're going to multiply 8 times 5, and we know that when we multiply 8 times 5, we get 40, so that means that our answer is C, 40. If you enjoyed this video, then please smash those like and subscribe buttons. As always, enjoy today's math journey.